concentrate the party. Hey, look, they're about to start now. Right. Good afternoon, ladles and German men. Hey, up with ourselves a while, eh? Mr. Boone, remember me? I'm busy. Yeah, well, this won't take long. Shall we talk outside? I said, I'm busy. <laughs> we can talk in here if you want. It's okay with me. I'll see you in a minute. There's a... There's a part-time job for you, eh? Oh, can you fit it in? Not for me. For you. It's only three hours a day caretaking cover. I'm a qualified electrician. But you're not doing anything. Well, even if I wanted the job, I, I, I couldn't do it. Not with me bad back. You see my reading glasses anywhere? I used to be more like you. Decisive, dependable, employed. I was made redundant, Doctor. Redundant. Surplus to requirements. There's no pressure anymore. There's no... I've had enough of this. No, I haven't finished with you yet. Oh, yes, you have. I've had you two up to here. I want you to leave, now. Oh, oh. You saw that? I'll have you for that. You saw it? You see anything, Polly? No, Sarge. Angela, you are like Botticelli's Venus. So why don't you just take off your clothes and come out of your shell? Huh? I beg your pardon. Come back to my place. My wife's away. I know you're gagging for it, eh? <laughs> I can keep going all night. Get your filthy hands off me! What's going on? This pervert has made the most vile and lewd suggestions. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And we heard every word, didn't we, Eric? Oh, oh did it? It was disgusting. I shall be reporting this to the Standards Committee first thing in the morning. But you can't touch me. You think you can't touch her? Um, you're looking a wee bit, um... Tired there, Henry. Uh, maybe I should get you a taxi. Ah, uh, you frigid, vindictive bitch! You think I want to sleep with you? I'd rather go scuba diving in a slurry pit. Come on, Henry. Everyone just hey, carry on. My help! You all right, love? What's wrong with you, doctor? Let me go! Oh, I've had enough of this. Oh. You've been asking for this so long. Oh. Lorraine, let's get you inside the ambulance. For a sick man, Mr. Peston, you have an impressive right hook. I'll drive. <gasps> Any news? The cardiologist is talking to your wife. Tests show she had a small heart attack. <sighs> and there's me wasting your time with all my aches and pains. They were real. Or at least I, th I thought they were. All that going on about me while my paws are rain. She'll be fine, really she will. Samuel's been picked up by the police. We have to give statements later. I hope I didn't break his nose. Uh, no, no, I hope I did. <laughs> You'll be able to see your wife shortly. I've been taking her for granted. We're always arguing over something or other. You must put a lot of pressure on you both. It's usually not very much. It's silly things, really, but... Well... We soon get over it. Well, you do, don't you? When you love someone. i just doing bins. Oh, that's my job. Don't want you dirtying your pretty little hands. Um, ah. I say I go see now. Ah, uh, yes, OK, I'll drive you. Oh, no, I take bus. <laughs> no way. Take a cab. I'll get my dog. Yes. <laughs> Anything you say, my darling. Anything. We've both had a bit of a scare, but there's no need for all of this. There is. It's not just a scare. It was a warning. And it's giving me a chance to change. And I will. Give us a cuddle, eh? Oh, Lord. Make no mistake, the bid is with the young man at the front for £54,750. Are we all done then, ladies and gentlemen? For the third and last time, sold.